Hey friends, um, before this video gets started, I just wanted to give you guys a real quick rundown. So there's a property about a half a mile down the street from us, and uh, it's 40 plus acres. It's all wooded, there's a huge lake in the middle, and the entire property is surrounded by like a, a 10 foot privacy fence. Um, there's a couple guys that own it, but uh, not from the area, and... There's some stuff that I know some trees falling on the fence, some different things, and I've been looking for a place around here to camp and whatnot. So I tracked down the owner of the property, introduced myself, told him I was a tree guy, what I wanted to do. And I met with him, and he spoke with the other owners, and uh, I got a key to the property today. So uh, I have so much cutting coming up. What I'm going to be doing, there's some trees that are on his fence. Um, there's some stuff that fell across some roadways. I mean, there's deadwood in there. You could deadwood this this property for the next three years every day. It could be a full-time job. So the cutting is unlimited. The felling is unlimited. The climbing is unlimited. The bushcraft stuff I wanted to do, the camping, the canoeing, the climbing, the survival challenges. Um, in return for taking care of this property, I can keep my eyes on it for him, and I can use it at my leisure. And it is, it is a blessing that I cannot even begin to explain. We are so excited I, megan's gonna have to she's gonna be trying to keep me at home right now because it's <laughs> like i'm working and then i'm going to be down at this property i'm going to be firing up the chainsaws i'm going to be climbing we're going to be camping we're going to be doing some bushcraft survival stuff that we want to try out it's just it's it's so awesome i truly hope you guys enjoy this today was the very first time we got to go inside the property so it's me and megan we're on our bikes we're riding around i do some cutting Clear some trees off of some roadways, but uh, my first wipeout. Megan's first crash on her e bike. I got it on camera. Um, <laughs> it's a really good video. We had a lot of fun today, but it's so you guys can see the property, and it just the video doesn't do it justice. Like I said, it's forty plus acres. It's wooded. It's got a huge lake with a boathouse in the middle of it, and you'll see. And it's just, I'm I'm going to be spending a good bit of time with these cameras rolling in this property. I'll be there today or uh tomorrow, from sun up to sundown. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. As always, keep a handle on it. Thank you for your support. All the new subscribers. Guys, please spread the word. I'm trying to get my count up. If you like what you're seeing, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. If not, thank you for stopping by. But uh, we appreciate you guys as always. Thank you for everything. We love yous. And I uh, hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to keep a handle on it. See you guys soon. And this is our first entrance into the land, baby. <laughs> Closing our gate. What? Yes, we did. Gate is locked. Rubber's back over the gate. Take a look around, friends. We got tree work for days. We got camping for days. We got some exploring to do. Me and Megan, I'm gonna be clearing the fence and keeping all the damage off of the fence in return for use of this property that's sitting here vacant. I believe there's some buildings in here and everything. Can get yes, we can do everything. We'll take some logs back, honey. I'm so, do you think you get um, possibly, yes. Yeah. Possibly. Look at the deer trails. <laughs> Look ahead of you. Oh my gosh. Back up. Why? I gotta take a picture. Of what? Stay right there. There's two old trucks. Sorry, what are you taking a picture of? Just the vacant trail. Friends, this is beautiful. Look at this property. I'm 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 speechless. Private gate. Okay. Like I said, this is an old property that was used for some drilling that didn't it fell through and here we are. We're gonna be doing the maintenance on the property, taking care of it in return for use of the property.
some old abandoned vehicles. Honey, there's an old tractor. You guys, this is awesome. I'm in three, sweetheart. And of course, we're on our e-bikes so we can explore everything. Oh, wow. There's a cemetery, hon. What? I'm coming to you. Oh, there you are. See ya. Well, there's my first tree I got to cut. I'm almost through. Look, if I just cut a tree. Yeah, guys, I have my silky handsaw here. I was cutting across this trail. I got the chainsaw on the bike. I, I get the chainsaw out. I don't know why I wanted to use the silky. I was full energy yeah, and all kinds of exciting. Nasty. So uh, I got a little bit of it out and now I use the chainsaw the rest of the way. Yeah. Whew. Just dropped a tree in about 40 seconds. With the silky. Now that I worked myself out, now that I worked myself out, I'm getting the chainsaw. <laughs> Find them all over in here. Yep, we'll see him here soon. Getting closer. Dawn, let's get ready to get dark. It's almost dusk. There we go. Just like that. We got the first clearing part open. What's that? Um, do you want to? Yeah, that way you don't gotta keep strapping it in. Okay. You don't mind wearing your book bag, hon? Okay. And first road clearing done. On to the next. See, honey, the cemetery's over there. There's the roundabout that we ride through. Right there. There's the building. So, apparently there's, yep, oh man, look at all of them. I know. Look, they go the whole way that way. Let's, uh, this is just the cornfield that runs down along the cemetery on this side. So friends, you can see the big field we got here. Then we got this part of the property, which is just breathtaking. Now here we go. Oh, hon. Wow, we didn't come down this part of the road. Look at this. Look where the deer cross. Right up over the hill there. Friends, look at the gully down through here. Oh, this place is breathtaking. Look at the dead cherries right there. Cherry trees that need to come down. I'm going to be doing some dead wood. There's a big cherry that needs to come down. A lot of cherry. A lot of walnut, elm, locust. <sighs> oh, 
lot of work you're doing here. What? What one? It goes like this. Okay. I want to know what's up on the top side here too. Let's go. I know, honey. We got days. We're going to be here all day tomorrow. I know. Woo! There's the gully. Oh, this is a tunnel right here. We could camp in the tunnel one night. Camp out in a tunnel. Oh, look. They were definitely hunting. It's a food plot. That's not a water tank, that's a feed plot. Been empty for a long time, I think. Look at that tree stand right there. There's an old tree blind right beside the feed plot. What is this? A feed plot. It drops grain for deer to eat. You fill that up with grain and it slowly drops it. And then they sit right here. You hear me? Yeah. Then they sit right here and wait for the deer to eat and just pick them off. That's not hunting. That's like you get these guys out in the Midwestern states that set up feed plots and they watch these deer all along on camera. And then when it's time to hunt, they go out in the morning, wait for the deer to come eat like they do every day and take a pop shot at them. That's not hunting. I mean, you can call it what you want, but here, I'm going to ride up that way. I'm going to see what's up through here. So this is where the deer trails, they come down through here, right under this stand, literally. What? I'm in three. Look at this. That good. Way down that way. There's a dead pine. What? Do you want to do it when you come back? No. We'll take a look around, but I'll be here cutting all day. My camera's recording. Oh, okay. I forgot you had it on. I'll help you. No, I'm not going to pull it off right now. I'm just going to do a cut or two. Yeah, I know. Remember what we got going? I can. Would you? I'm gonna bring the. I'm wearing one of them thermal shirts. I'm gonna bring the bigger chainsaws in tomorrow. Okay. I'm not gonna run this out of gas because I didn't bring any gas with us. 
I just you brought this. I pretty much just brought the ch the saw today, yeah. in case we needed to clear our spot to get through on the road. We'll do the fine cleaning up tomorrow. This is pretty much just yeah. our trip around the property to see what we got here. So there's well, you guys can see an old permanent tree stand. I probably wouldn't go up in that. It's got a safety cable. It's built off of old telephone poles. They literally took an old uh, an old ladder here. You can see. I'm not. The ladder's safe. The tree stand, I wouldn't go in. out there exploring <laughs> what what deer tracks, deer tracks. Deer tracks. telephone poles it looks like rotten plywood up there but uh I can tell you one thing, if I'm going to be taking care of this property, what? There's something down there. Is that that, that boat dock? We're going to go find out. Oh yeah, friends, we didn't tell you that yet. There is three lakes on this property, three bigger lakes. I was going to go down this way real quick, okay. and then we'll come up around. We have, we, we have so much to explore here. And like I said, I'm going to be keeping the fence clear for this gentleman in return, keeping his roadways clear, his fences clear to camp. So many trails in here. We should make our own map. We're going to have to eventually. We can with the footage tonight.
even that small dead stuff, how hard it is. All hardwood around here. Now, actually, that goes to one of the one of the lakes, I think, because I can see uh, what are them reeds called? Cat, cattails. Cat Did that look like cattails straight ahead or no? Looks like this. You hear me? That's what I mean, an old, there must have been a tree stand or something built right here. Cause you can see the old tree stand up that way. See a tree stand in the background? 100 acres of just trails and hardwoods and awesomeness. Where there's supposedly three lakes on this property. That's what we're in search of. We're gonna be here all day tomorrow, friends, from sun up to sundown. You ready, baby? Yeah. Can I have a little sip of that? I have some water, too. I'm glad I wear that thermal shirt. Thank you. Are you cold? No, I'm hot. Yeah. But it was enough you can take your coat off. I mean, and there's just side trail after side trail for us to explore. There's a white birch down. Right, there's a couple. Honey, look at these trails. There's... What? I'm not sure. Oh, I found a lake. There's the boathouse. Friends, oh! Look at that tree stand down there. Oh, wow. Look at this place. <laughs> Are you kidding? I would move. I can't believe he doesn't live here. Huh? Just burn it. There's an island down in the middle right there. There's a boat. Is that a sunken boat? What? Is that a sunken boat? Out there? Yeah. I don't know. It looks like it. Right there's a boat. Oh man! <laughs> I, 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 I am speechless. Look at my wife coming. Tree stands down there, friends. Look at this lake. How huge it is. Completely frozen. Probably an animal. There's a boat. Looks like a sunken boat out there. Here's an old boat house, a dock. That is a boat. We can build. I'm going to be. This entire oh, property. It's, co it's completely surrounded by a 12 foot privacy fence that's maintained. Oh my gosh. Stove? Yeah. But there's, there's trees that are constantly falling on the fence. I looked this guy up when I realized what the property was and that it was vacant, nobody uses it. I said, I'll maintain your fence. Can I camp? Can I use this property? You take care of my tree work here? This is yours to use. <laughs> is an awesome day and i think i just found our camping spot where right here look at this stove isn't that funky looking this was a cabin it was leaking because look the chair's wet how to sex and age live antlerous white-tailed deer sex and age to tell their ages mushrooms growing on the wall look yeah, real wood. Okay. Chairs. Hey, we have that ratchet strap. Look at that wood stove. I know. A little wood stove sitting on a piece of metal. Okay. Tree stand ladder. Oh. There's a boat dock down there. See, I know I've seen big cattails. Or these things, whatever it was for the water. 
Um, there's a ratchet strap for it. See it? Yeah, I told you oh. the same one I have. Oh. Mm. Look at the little awning. Did you guys see Megan throw her hands up there? She was telling me about that quick. ratchet strap when we first walked in. Oh, this <laughs> I just repeated could not it later. Be so, uh, cooler. It's kind of like I didn't hear her, but I did. Look at this boat. It's an old fiberglass boat. Heavy. Wow, a lot of skulls down here. What kind of skulls? Deer. Yes, they got them down here. They're bear bottles. That one almost looks humanish, doesn't it? <laughs> no. It's deer skulls. A lot of beer cans. So somebody's been sneaking in here. There's decoys. An old carpet. We'll clean that up. There's some old fencing, some old windows, some deer skulls, a couple decoys. Well, this, I mean, this was a big hunting camp for people. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. I heard something. I'm going I do hear some noise. It is a little creepy down here. I told you I came to explore. Here, this landing's here, and there's a steps that went up to the boathouse. That tells me that this lake is awesome for canoeing, kayaking, water stuff that I'm interested in. So, that's all stuff that I am going to be doing. I left my chew at home. <sighs> okay, let's uh, let's get on the bikes. I don't know how far over it goes. If we go down around this way and take a look, or let's take a quick little ride. Oh my gosh, what if somebody's hurt? Nobody's hurt. It's sitting in the water, but nobody in it. Saddlebags, chainsaw, an axe, a silky. A Yeti. A Yeti, some rawhide leather gloves, and some Hicks Hickory. My new to me Yeti. Let's, we're gonna turn around here. Well, do you wanna ride down towards that stand once, take a look at it? Yeah. Friends, please pay attention. Megan has her first white bat on her bike coming right up. Careful. You okay? What happened? <laughs> the what? Holy shit. I hit that. Oh, the rut. Are you okay? Yeah. That's your first crash. I know. Good job. <laughs> Holy shit. Scare you? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I didn't hurt me. Oh, you dropped your phone. Oh my god. I love you. Holy shit. Like one? Okay. Rub some dirt on it, you'll be okay. Uh -oh. What? Rub some dirt on it. Okay. My dad used to always say, rub some dirt on or too far from your heart to kill you. Now get up. I'm what? <laughs> There's my wife BMXing. Is your bike taking off slow? Is it because of the ground? Yeah, 
Yep. Yes, I did. See? I feel... Oh, wow. The deer, huge buck tracks walking right past this stand. You hear me? What? Look at the huge deer tracks that walk right underneath this stand. Get a look at the property from the ladder. Look, there's the rope for pulling up your bow or your rifle. Oh wow, you can see everything from this stand. It don't look like it, I don't, I don't know if I would trust sitting in it anymore. No. I mean, it's treated lumber, this one. It's green and it's not rotten. The plywood's a little rotten. There is a lock on the ladder. Yeah. But it's a beautiful property. Man, look at this place, friends. Up in this old tree stand. Over there's the lake. The deer come down through the woods right here and the coverage towards the lake. You can see the trails down behind me. Huh? Do you need little critters out here? Um. Like something I need to run from? No. The deer can be. I bet there's deer laying all around us right now. Pennsylvania Whitetail Country, friends. Hicks Hickory. I love this. On my way back down. I only brought one battery with me. And I've been recording for... Let's see. I got 24 minutes of recording left. And 32% battery, friends. So as you can see... I'm in heaven right now. This is this is amazing. God is great. Things come good for us. Like I said, we're putting in work. And I had a job fall through with some tree work. Now me and my wife have this hundred acre property that is literally it's it's a it's a I'm speechless right now. And the fence that goes around this property is miles long. So the footage that I'll have for cutting now and firing up these saws that the community gave me is is unlimited. We're so blessed. Megan's working on her chick stick. <laughs> She's coming out with her handle. That was a little surprise. That was our first unveiling of Megan's chick stick. Yep. Soon to come. <laughs> Big things coming, guys. I'm going to record a little bit. I'm going to shut the camera down for a couple minutes. I'll catch you soon. Chick stick, chick, chick stick. I love you guys. Chick. Let them know. <laughs> Keep hand on it. She said it. Okay, friends. We're still cruising. We ain't got a whole lot of battery left. We've pretty much found the spot that we think we're going to build our, our little homestead camp. Down in this corner of the property, you got the highway that runs down along the edge. We're not feeling that. I don't want to hear cars wherever we decide to set up our shelter. Here's an old hunting blind up here in front of us. Hey, we're good. There's some cool clearings in here. And then we could do some camping. Down over the big hill down to the bottom. There's a flat land down there, but I don't really got nothing down there. Found a lot of hickory. Big hill climbs there. Yeah, look at that sunset over there, friends. Yeah, we're gonna go out towards the front. So look at that, there's the property edge, is the whole way out there at them farms. And that way, to whole way past that lake, we just saw our new playground. And this is a huge bank. Look how far down over the hill this goes. Way down to the bottom there. I'll be cutting wood for days. And I guarantee we see deer while we're back in here. And you know what, this is private property. I don't know what the rules for hunting are on private property. Oh, there's a serious trail right there. Like a bike trail? I don't know. It was like completely dirt. It almost looked like water runoff. It was weird. Oh. Some uprooted trees. Be careful right here, hon. Yeah, 
Bam, 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 bam. Oh, of course, I rode where the down tree is. Bam, 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 You're doing good, sweetheart. We haven't even explored in here yet. This is where that big pot was. To go out, to leave, we go right. We haven't even went anywhere near down in here yet. That's the bottom hill. Maybe that's the bottom road. Yeah, you know, they're gonna be everywhere and it's starting to get dark. So, oh, look at this. There's that trench. I'm guessing there's a tunnel in there. Go out in this field here. There's the sunset. Wow. Would you look at this place, guys? This property is huge. Whole way down through here. There's the woods. There's another blind down there. Up and across to them trees. I want to find a spot to build my camp. I really like this down in here, but it's not really kind of open. There's another hunting blind down there. Oh, wow. What? Get your back of your seat. I know, it's all bad. I have to okay, friends. So, we're way down on the bottom side of this property. And what we're doing is I got permission to make a camp for camping. So, I'm going to be cleaning up the fence line here as i said earlier but we're looking for a spot so we rode the trail way down into the middle of the property i mean there is highways that go around this place it's not that big it's like close to home but we want to find a spot that we can bushcraft it like i'm going to be straight starting fires primitive style we want to camp we want to live off the land we want we want to build a shelter we want to sleep outside i'm going to build a lean to my tarps we're going to cut logs we're going to build some cool stuff i keep repeating myself but i am so happy and so blessed right now because i just found unlimited cutting and unlimited camping literally less than half a mile away from my house this place is completely fenced in private and it's i, I am i'm speechless my wife is besides Where herself is your pine oh she is beside herself i have never seen pine cones this little Oh, wow. Well. They're adorable. And look at this little big pine back there, honey. Look at that thing. Sorry, look at that pine. Look how big that is. Wow. Look at all that this whole area. So we're thinking our camp's going to be around here somewhere. We're not 100% sure yet. Friends, my camera's running out of battery. <laughs> you sound like Taz. Taz, man, Mr. Arnett, all you guys out there. I love you. Taz and Flues is coming. I got big plans. Well, the end of the video has come, and this is some of the pictures that Megan was taking earlier. As always, we appreciate your guys' support. We love all of you. Always remember, God Country Core. Don't forget to keep a handle on it.